Welcome to another vlog. I am in my dining room right now. And I have this tall vase that has been sitting in this corner ever since I moved into this house. And that's like eight years ago. I've moved it like slightly now and then to probably sweep around it when I'm doing a deep clean. But I don't really deep clean in a dining room like that. Um, cause it's never really used. It's always like a catch. It's always like a catch, um, a catch area. Sorry guys. I am like in pain. <sighs> Anyways. Um, yeah, it's like a catch area. So I really don't move this thing, right? So I got a new, um, what you call these things? A new, it's like a plant holder. I got a new plant holder that I wanted to put there and I'm, I'm going to get me a nice, really big, tall three, tree to go in it. So I decided, okay, let me move it out the way, even though I don't have the tree for it yet, but I wanted to take it out my car. So I was like, let me just at least put it in its place because the vase, I was going to give the daughter my va the vase to go you know, in her new apartment. So I grabbed the vase to move it and it just fell apart. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh my God. Sorry. It fell apart. Literally, it fell apart. So, yeah, I'm going to show it to you guys. The dog one thing fell apart. It had like these, I think you've seen it before. It had like these tall sticks in it. I already took the sticks out in the garage. But the doggone face fell apart. So let me show you. So I try to lift it up and it just piece by piece started to fall apart. <laughs> so my other daughter says she can fix it. I don't know if I want to be giving the girl no broken stuff. But she says she can mend it back together. So we'll see. And anywho, this is my vase, the new vase that I am trying to um, put there. So this stuffing was actually inside this one. So I'm putting this one. This is really, really big. I got this from Home Goods and it was $40, $49. I was in a state of shock. So I just mop right there. I'm waiting for it to dry. And then I'm going to push this into that slot. And um, eventually I'll get a big a tall plant. I don't know if I want uh, um olive tree to go there or something with a lot of foliage. I'm not sure yet what I want to put in that corner. I know it's not going to be a real tree because the window is all the way over there. And it's going to need to be by a window if I put a real tree. So that's not going to be a real tree that's going to go right there in that spot. <clears throat> I do have this extra table here. I'm thinking I'm going to just go ahead and give that to my daughter. I have to start letting go of stuff. I'm always holding on to stuff, right? So, yes, I'm going to put that in place. But in the meantime, guys, let me show you what I did with the coffee table. Okay, so remember I told you that I did not like how I had the coffee table styled. And I'll pop in the picture, show you guys how it was styled before. So... I restyled it because I told you I got to sit and watch stuff for a few days and then I can, you know, get to it. So this is how it's styled now and I love this much better. Um, like I said, I was trying to use everything and I didn't need to. So I actually took these books out of my office. So I did shop my home. These, I've had these forever. Um, the, like I said, the books came from my office. You know, I've always had this forever from Target from last year. I had this from Target from last year. Um, I've always had this from Ross. These books I've always had. They used to be up there underneath that shelf. Um, the only two new items on here is this book holder that I had gotten from Ross. I showed you guys. Um, I think it's like $9.99, and then this was like about $6.99 or $7.99, $7.99. So that's the only two items on my table. So yes, I did shop my home. So this is how it looks from this angle, and I love 
this a hundred percent better. You know what I would like though, but I don't have it and I'm, I don't think I'll, I, I probably wouldn't be able to find it. But you know those old branches that you find used to find in like home goods. If I ever see one of those again, I would purchase it because I think that will look nice right here. And if I put it right here, then either this would go away or that will go away and put it there like that. So that would have looked nice, re right? It would have looked nice there. Um, I'm also thinking maybe I might put a throw on this and let it drape down. So I do have um, trolls upstairs that will definitely match. This is the same exact color. It's this color here and that color in the throw. So I'm going to get it and I'm going to place it. Let me go get it now and put it and let you guys let me know down in the comment section if you think I should leave it like that or not. Also, what do you guys think about the style? And I need you guys to help me style this coffee table. Um, I don't want to leave it empty. I do want to put stuff on it, but I also don't want to crowd it too much. Um... Let me know your thoughts. What do you guys think um, compared to... I know how I had it style before was terrible. Uh, so, yeah. But let me run, go get that, and then we'll look at um, the shelving as well. So let me run and get the... What do you call this thing? The throw. Let me go get the throw. Okay, guys. So I, I brought down two different trolls, right? So this is the one that I was talking about, and then I also have this um, this one. So I was thinking that I can just like loosely throw it like that. What you guys think? What you guys think? Should I put something there? Should I not put something there? This throw is very big. It's a big one, so, or should I use it over here? Like, I would like to, I have to wash this rug. Um, I haven't washed it yet because I'm thinking to take it up, take it outside, and put it on the power wash. Or should I do this one instead? What do you guys think? Guys, you need to follow me on um, Instagram. So when I have questions, immediate questions like these, I can post it and I can get your um, your advice quicker. So, yeah, my Instagram is jagbydesign underscore vlog. Okay? So follow me on Instagram. And what do you guys think? Yes, no, maybe so. Don't put nothing there. Or not this one, but that one. What you think? Now this one, I'm going to leave that one there for now because I like that it's not a bunch of contrast. So it doesn't look that busy. And I am going to put this one over here on this side. Like I'm going to put it right here right it's a little too thick but let me just refold it one sec i need to put you guys on the stand where is my stand one second okay so yeah this is pretty long it's pretty thick and normally like i like to sit up in that corner right there so do I leave it here like that? It looks beautiful here draped like this. And I have two of these. So I could probably, I want to put something in this corner over here. I need to turn you guys around so I can see what I'm, what you guys are seeing. So let's do it this way so I can see when I look. Here we go. So. Um, um, I normally sit up in this corner. I like to come and cuddle up right here. So, 
As I have, these are the two pillows that this couch came with. I, like I said, I gave away all the rest of them and I only kept two. I think it came with like six. Cause um, I only wanted like this one so I can lay on. But these need to wash again. Okay. So, I mean, can I just leave it clean like this? I'm thinking to get one of those, um, the, the lumbar pillows and use it here in the center. Maybe, ooh, maybe I can make one out of this same fabric, out of this same fabric right here. And I have two more of those brown pillows, um, not pillows, but covers. Um, I've always had those. I probably have those like over a year plus too. So I can probably put that here in this area right here. Um, what you guys think, or should I just leave it like this? Would that make it look too busy? Um, let me know down in the comment what you guys think. I'm loving this right here though. I really love it here. Um, so I guess our question is, do we want, so this is from this view. So from that view, guys, what you think? Oh, you can't see. Let's go further back. There you go. So now you can see the full um, view of the space. What do you guys think? Is this too much right now? I just want it to fall pretty like that. So if I'm ever sitting right there and I want, I don't want this one ever moving. That's why I don't ever want to move this one. I just need it to stay here at all times and just look pretty. Now, if I ever need to cover up and I'm sitting right here, you know, cover my feet, my feet is up. I can grab this and cover myself. So, or if I'm down in that corner, then I'll definitely grab that one down there. But this one, I don't want it to move. I have it tucked in. So it's tucked in so that it doesn't move that easily. So I really don't want nobody grabbing this one. I'm thinking to order one of these so that I can probably put it over there and then that one will be what I will cover up with because that one is really thick. Okay, so, um, it's beautiful. It's it's beautiful. I just let me know if this is necessary. My my rug. I haven't gotten the rug yet that I showed you guys in my, but I am gonna get it. I just have not been back there yet. And besides that, guys, my dog on TV stopped working. My TV stopped working. So if I turn the TV on. It comes on and everything, but you can't see anything. So it looked like our last storm, it knocked out the, um, so I have to buy a whole new TV because apparently this one cannot be fixed. But yeah, so, uh, so yeah, my TV is broken. Yep. So let me show you now how I redid the shelves. So over here, um, you know, I always had this. You know that this was, um, I had, I have found two of these when I was cleaning the dining room, remember? I found these, and this was a DIY that I did with them. And I was going to fix the crackle finish, and my daughter was like, ooh, I love that crackle finish. So I'm leaving it crack like that, and it does add so much more interest to the piece. So um, I did do a DIY on this. So if you guys can go back in my videos, you'll see where I did a DIY on these. I did two of them, right? Um, and I used clay that I already had. So I literally had to purchase nothing to do this DIY, okay? This bowl up here, I've always had this bowl. Um, I got this from Target, I think last year or like a year and a half ago. I got this from Target and this was always in my kitchen. Then it ended up in the pantry and I wanted some bowls to put on these shelves. So I pulled it out. 
Um, nothing changed here. I've always had everything here. Here, you know, this is the, the same thing. I've always had this. It used to be on the other side, up like where this one is at. So I've always had these. Um, so I have it like this with a candlestick. There seems kind of heavy. This, I keep putting this places and I just need to put away. I just need to, pack. I'm going I'm to store this back. I had gotten this from um, Ross for $7. So I am going to put it away. So if you look under here, like I got so much, I don't want to say eh, shit, but the girl got a lot of stuff. And these... I think I'm going to pull these out probably in the summer and use them somewhere. I have two of those. So that's that. This, I have to find somewhere to put it because now I'm not using it. Um, That was right here. So I'm not using it there anymore, but I need to find somewhere to put it. That's why it's still sitting there. Then over here, the only thing changed, I've always had everything that's over here. The only thing I changed is I added a bowl right here. Remember this, um, the one for my bathroom? I've always had these. I bought these Christmas from Kirtland's. Um, and then this bowl, I put this bowl up here. You know, I got this. This I think this was like, what, $3.99? $3.99 from Ross, remember? In my um, haul. This is the other one. This is the lady. The only thing now, the lady's not sitting on a book like she is over there. And I think I would love to get a book for it. And of course, I've always had that, right? And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have not changed these out. I got these stems from, um, I got these stems from, um, what's the name of that place? Hobby Lobby. Last spring? Either last, I think last summer. Yeah, I think last, either last spring or last summer I got those. They're so beautiful. They're like, I do not, I don't think I'll ever change those at all because they're so pretty unless I'm changing it to something that looks just like it. Like I have had um, pompous grass there and it, the pompous grass was red and it had looked nice. You know, it's Christmas, whatever. But outside of that, like these stems are beautiful and I don't think I'll change them. Like those are definitely going to stay there. Okay, so let's get back to this dining room, y'all. So I'm only, I'm basically going to just put, I'm just going to put the, um, I'm trying to put you guys back as far as possible. There we go. So... I need to move. I like I'm afraid to move this anymore because I don't want it to break anymore. But yeah. oh. Oh. I am in so much pain, but I am trying to press forward. Yeah. heavy like it's 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 concrete i don't think it's concrete it's not heavy enough to be concrete but it's heavy enough to be something like what's the garbage truck yeah it's not concrete i think it's some kind of fiberglass and then it has some kind of cemental um finish over it but it's not a solid concrete so Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> so just imagine the tree in it. Um, I like. I was looking for a big one, and I I can't believe I found it. So they have two sizes. They have this one, and they have one that's a little bit smaller than that. So I did get this from Home Goods. Um, today's Friday. I got it on on Wednesday. So it's there. There. If you guys want. You know looking for something like this it's there you guys can have i mean you guys can go and check it out so i'm gonna move this one somewhere safe in case baby zyla comes 
Um, so I'm gonna move that probably over here by the window. And that area now looks like it has a purpose. Before, it felt like a catch-all, like it didn't have a purpose, so yeah. Okay, the next thing I need to do is I need to clear back this table again. This table keep being a catch-all. So I need to put this up. I'm going to do it this weekend. I got to start spending time for Judith and stop allotting my time to other people. Yeah, so I need to come and make some of these. This is my um, body butter. So I need to make some because I, um, I, I have some orders. So I definitely make some of these so that I can send out. I need to make the other scent because the order is for the other scent. And I'm going to do that now after I tidy up my kitchen. And this is what I showed you guys came the other day. So I have to bottle out my oils. So these are the oils, guys. These are the oils. I remember when I first saw this, I was like, oh, my God, it got worms. <laughs> but no, it's the um, one of the flowers that I put in there. That's what that is. So this one, like I told you guys, have, I mean, I'm not going to show my formula, but it has 15 different um, oils in there. And this one has seven. It's been curing since February 10th, both of them. Okay. So um, this one I haven't tested out yet, but this one I have. And if you want your hair to grow, if you have dandruff, um, even alopecia, all that stuff, it has those oils in it that would help those to grow back, help your hair to grow back, okay? So I am definitely going to, I'm going to bottle them out today after I finish cleaning the kitchen. Um, I have to fix this light up here too. Guys, like, this is why, like, when you're doing stuff, do do it right oh guys <laughs> i show you i braided my hair well i ain't talk about it. i'm pretty sure you was like oh she braided her hair i braided my hair yep i braided my hair last night i was really out of it yesterday yesterday was not a good day for me it was a life-changing experience and um yeah so to get my mind off of it i Decided I was gonna braid my hair yesterday anyway. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna braid my F in here. That's what I'm about to do. I'm not stressing about none of this shit. I'm gonna braid my hair. And I sat there and I spent about three hours and I braided my hair. So I haven't wet it, like hot it, put it in the hot water yet, because I need to um put the ends on the rods and then put it in the hot water. I haven't done that part yet, but yeah, I was tired of my hair being out. Because I, when I'm ready to go out the house, I don't know what to do with it. And I'm like, I'm throwing hats on my hair. Like, I know I don't like doing that. So, yep. Negro braided her hair. So, let's get back to this. Um, so, look, look, this is what we got going on up there, y'all. If you remember when I was putting this light up, one of the screws would not go in. And I was like, ah, it's fine. I don't need it. <laughs> well, looky here. This is what I'm dealing with. It keeps doing that. So, I have to go find the screws and I have to figure out how to get that damn screw to go in. Because the screw won't go in. So, I had them charging yesterday. So, that's why the wires are hanging out there. And I just moved the wire. And I have these tables here that my daughter is going to go with. Um, she still have a few more days before she completely moves out move move not move out but move to her apartment so i'm gonna fix this and i don't know if that's priority i did bring the ladder in so i can fix it i think what's priority right now is for me to get them doggone body butters made so i can ship them out tomorrow so let's go clean this kitchen y'all need to come help me clean my kitchen that's what y'all need to do help me clean this kitchen Okay, so where am I gonna put y'all? 
yeah guys so because my tv broke and you guys know well if you don't know i need noise to work i can't work in quietness i need i need noise so um this tv was in the garage so i pulled it here so that i can watch this tv um i do have a tv for my kitchen but i don't think it has a stand so that's why I pulled that one out to use it. And plus it's smaller than this one. So I am going to, um, yeah, I'm going to wash these dishes. I should just put, put them in the, in the thing. Yeah. I'm going to use my, oh, I ain't run this dishwasher. I'm going to put them in a the dishwasher. So where do I put you guys? Let me put you guys over here. And I'm going to stop talking because I want to see this um, show, this African show that I'm watching. <laughs> I want to see what happened in the end. I really don't think her daughter died. I think it's all an act. So I'm a, um, let me fold the dishwasher and you guys can, I guess, watch me do that. Watch me fold the dish, dishwasher so I can listen to the show. This is the reason why I wash my dishes on my hand. Cause you have to pre-wash them and put them in there anyway. So it's best to just complete the washing. This is my coconut milk. When I made this batch, I didn't put enough coconut water in it. Like one of the coconuts I bought, it was spoiled. It wasn't any good, so I couldn't use the water. So because of that, this is like, I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's what you want? what's the word? I don't know what the word is. So I need to get it out of this jar because I, when I want to make a smoothie, I can't make a smoothie because it's um it's too thick to come out of the thing. Mm. So I'm trying to get it out so I can put it in a bowl. so I can access it with a spoon when I want to use it. I don't want to add water to it because I want it to be pure coconut milk. No additives, no water, no nothing. Like I told you guys in that movie I was just watching, the little girl didn't die. They hit her so her mom and dad couldn't reconcile. You can like almost tell what the how the end of these movies are gonna be. And that's why I like them because I don't too like too much suspense. I don't like suspense like that in movies. At least. Okay, this have a lot in here. You know your girl ain't leaving it in there. So I'm gonna let it sit upside down so that I can go drain down. 
So this is what I got out. I am going to cover this. I was trying to get my daughter to like, she don't like it. Everything has to be sweet, full of sugar for them, like. Oh my girl. Bad. But, guys, it's about that time for me to get this on. Um, I need to start this process of making this um my body butter because I feel like put it in the freezer for a little bit after I mix it after I heat it up it gotta go in the freezer. I'm sorry. So let me get that started. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna let you guys see me do just a little bit of this. Okay. So my recipe contains shea butter and mango butter in the beginning. That's that's the first two items I put in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna empty this out. I gotta get my gloves. But I'm gonna take this and the mango butter, um, the portion that I use. So I'm gonna use this full thing and then the, the percentage I need for this. I'm gonna put it in a container and then I'm gonna put it to double boil. Okay, so I'll be back because it takes a while to dig this out. Let me go get my gloves. I don't like to waste none of this stuff. <laughs> Take them gloves off. And I'm going to rub it on my skin. Like, this is some good stuff right here. Let me tell you. Since I started using this on my feet. Like I was saying, <laughs> since I started using this, oh, boy. Since I start using this, my feet, I haven't had a pedicure. I need to get my, my toes polished, but I used to always need to have a pedicure, like always, because my feet, um, I guess being from the Caribbean from when I was young, you know, running outside, no shoes on and stuff, so my feet would get hard real quick. But ever since I started using this butter, I haven't had to go get a pedicure because my feet are so dry. I literally haven't had to go get a pedicure. Um, it has really helped my foot a lot. I am going to go get a pedicure because I need to get my toes done. And I am not going to let them scrape my foot. And that was the big mistake my mom told me I made. Is the first time I went for pedicure and I let them use that razor on my foot. If you have not done that yet, guys, don't ever do it. Um, the skin is going to start to not go back soft. So I have to spend a lot of years, um, I guess, not doing that so that to repair back my feet. So when I go, I'm going to let her scrub it with the soft thing, but I'm not going to let her do that, that thing on, on my foot. Um, but yeah... I've been using it there. I've been using it on my skin. My skin feels soft. I normally don't put stuff on my face. I normally don't like, I've never really greased my face. But I'm getting older. 
So I decided to um, show some precaution and I started using it on my face. And I used to always have this um, pigmentation. I don't know if you call it pigmentation, but my skin always used to be like two different colors. And I used to hate to see that, so it used to make me want to go put makeup on. But I find that since I've been using it on my skin, on my face, my skin color, as you can see, my skin color has blended out. Okay? So, this is some good stuff, guys. Like I said, it's organic. It has um, shea butter in it, mango butter. Summertime is coming up, so I'm going to add cocoa butter to it, and that's just to help it to not soften while it is um, in transport, right? It makes the melt the melting point lower when you add cocoa butter because that's a hard butter. Um, it has Jehovah oil in it. It has rosemary oil, olive oil, uh, argan oil. I said Jehovah oil. I think I said Jehovah oil. Vitamin E. Um, I put some cornstarch in it. And it's organic cornstarch so that it wouldn't be as greasy because I know some people don't like that greasy feel. Um, what other oil is in there? They have, I think I'm missing an oil. But it have all that nice juicy stuff in there that like, uh, oh, it has um, sesame seed oil. That's the one I was missing. They had sesame seed oil in it as well. So guys, it's some really good stuff blended together um, that would make your skin feel amazing. I am about to make some, I just need to find time for myself and I'm starting a really big project on Monday. So that again, that's gonna have me for like another three months. Um, I will take you guys on, I can take you guys on that trip because I'm project managing the trip. The, I'm project managing the job. I said trip. So I have free reign. I can um, take you guys on that job. So, yeah. So I need to make that, um, I need to make that, it's a um, body scrub. What is my brain? So it's a body scrub. So. Ooh, flies. I hate when I love it to get warm, but a fly got inside this house and I'm gonna be running behind this fly till I catch it. Literally. Okay. So it's in the double boiler as you guys can see. And I'm gonna take it out now. And this is what I do after I take it out. So when I take it out, what I'm going to do that you guys can't even see, I have to bend you down because this thing can't go, this thing can't go no longer. So what I do is I put it in the mixer. I'm going to transfer it into the mixer and then put it in the freezer. But I'm going to let it cool off first. Wait, I don't want to touch none of this stuff. Because I don't have my gloves on. Ooh, that's hot. So what I do is I transfer it into this. Like, a, like what they say? Like a that? <laughs> like I said, I don't like to waste none of this stuff. So I let it all drain out. <laughs> I let all of it drain out, like get all of that good stuff in there. <laughs> and then I'm gonna let it sit here on the, on the counter for a little bit, just so it can cool down. I find when I do that and then I mix it, it fluffes be way better. So I'm gonna let it sit here, um, cool, let the temperature cool down closer to room temperature. Then I'm gonna pop it in the refrigerator for about 30, 35 minutes, okay? Okay guys, so um, I don't want this video to be too long and I have been recording for an hour and 12 minutes now and I have to cut that down hopefully to about 30 minutes. I do not want to go over that. 
if I have space to include sh me showing you guys me um doing the mixing and all that i will but i do have another video hmm i do have a video that i did record to do an ad with showing me making a product so i probably can post that this fly in any case um if i have space to add it because i'm gonna still record it in case i have space so if i have space to add it then i'll add it in if not guys i will see you probably tomorrow um Tomorrow, all I'm doing tomorrow is cleaning. So I might record me doing that and do a reset video. But if not, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Okay? So peace out. And guys, don't forget to leave a comment. So, oh, you know what? I'm not going to put the rest of this in the video. If you want to see me making my body butter and how I make my body butter, comment down in the description. And I don't mean one comment. I need a few comments down in the description saying we want to see you making your body butter. And I will definitely post the video with me making my body butter. So leave me a comment down in the description. <laughs> okay, I got to force you guys to comment like... Y'all think because I'm an interior designer that your opinion don't matter. Your opinion matters. It matters a lot. I don't know everything, and sometimes things may be looking wonderful to me, and from other eyes, it doesn't. I accept criticism. Look at someone told me when I was redoing the uh, my kitchen, right? Remember when I was redoing all of this? I can't, here. When I was redoing all of this? Someone left a comment and said, sis, you need to reevaluate your countertops because nothing matches. Now, I think that they use the incorrect terminology because this matches. <laughs> you have all neutral colors. Neutral colors match. No matter what you do with them, they match. They're neutral colors. They're going to match with each other. What I'm thinking is they were saying the design style they were thinking probably don't work together or the coordination doesn't work together, something like that. But to use the word not don't match, that I didn't agree with, right? And there's like, um, they told me it doesn't match, and um, yeah, you need a you need a um, towel paper holder. Now, I have a towel paper holder. This doesn't a power me putting a towel paper holder here does not make this work. You understand what I'm saying? It doesn't make it work. However, I did appreciate the um, the criticism. I did appreciate the comment because you guys are seeing this on camera and I'm seeing it here in person. And I, for me, the whole flow works. For me, the color palette works. You see what I'm saying? But you guys are not seeing it that way. You guys are seeing it um, on the camera, right? So... I get comments like that, and I appreciate them. I'm, in, I'm a designer, yes. It's my profession, yes. But that doesn't mean sometimes I don't do designs and send it to clients and they reject it. You see what I'm saying? So, and I do struggle with certain things. I struggle with styling coffee tables. I struggle with styling shelves. Those are the two things I struggle with. Anything outside of that in design, I'm a boss. But when you see I'm trying to style something, I would do it and I have to leave it and come back to it. It could be a couple days after or whatever. I have to leave it. So there are things in designs that I struggle with, you know? So, um, but there's just certain things that I just don't struggle with. Or maybe it might be my taste but not yours. And that is okay. So I said all of that to say this. Leave me comments. Comment down if you like something, if you don't like it, if you, you want to suggest that I do something else, or maybe you saw a piece on a website, Patrick Bond or something like, hey, Julie, you should check this out. Maybe you saw a really nice candle that you think, girl, this candle's going to smell so amazing. You should check it out. Comment. Leave the comments down. I really appreciate the comments, and I love the interaction. That's why, even though today I am, I'm not good in spirit right now. I am telling you guys right now. I am not good in spirit right now. I am very down, but I refuse to allow myself to get depressed. So guess what I do? I pick up the camera. I start to record because 
that really, it helps me. I feel like I'm really speaking to people. It helps me to get my mind off of what's going on in my life, you know, in my personal life, because I don't share my personal life on here, but this distraction helps me. And it helps me to do what I have to do. I was supposed to make this body butter since yesterday. And I just went and I just laid down. I wanted to just go lay down. I lay down for about three to four hours. And I got up and I was like, you know what? F this shit. I'm about to go do, do my hair. And I jumped in a chair and I started my hair. And now I am happy. Because guess who ain't got to go throw a hat on? Guess who ain't got to go brush this hard hair of hers up? Me. On that note, see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.